Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I figured I would go ahead and do an empties slash I've used enough of it, it's time for it to go slash I'm ready. I'm here for it. It worked. It didn't. So let's actually talk about it and get into the video. If you guys have been with me, you know I use these all the time. They say they're lint free. <laughs> they're not, but for the price, I get them off Amazon. Uh, they're like 80 something percent lint free. I do have to check every once in a while on my nails to make sure that there's no lint on it. But overall, these are really, really, really good for the price. I think I get three or four packs for like $10. I'll link these because these I think are really good. However, they are not lint free, even though they say lint free. They're just not, but I do like them a lot. I have used this bad boy up. A lot of times when I'm trying to get free shipping, I will add just this cleanser in because it is just really good. I do really like this cleanser. I usually make my own. Um, I make my own with 75% uh, isopropyl alcohol and then 25% acetone. So it's a three to one. So three over four and one over four. You know what I mean? Um, and it works just as well as this, but I do like a good light elegance cleanser. So I do really like this one. These are just your basic like cotton rounds. Um, I use these for makeup removing. I use these for soaking in acetone in this to clean my stamping plates. I absolutely love this because this is a wetter hold versus something like this. This is not going to hold as much liquid. So I do clean my plates with this, but then it gets kind of messy. These hold quite a bit and it's great to be able to wipe with the acetone on those cotton rounds. So absolutely love these. And I do have these little buffing blocks. I just used one and threw it in there. These are great. I love these. It took a while to get used to using something so small because I'm used to something that was really big, actually like the size of the file. Um, I used to use their foamies, I think is what it's called. Um, and it's the size of a file and it's great. You would do left and right and it took me a long time to get used to these, but I actually really like them because I'm always getting a fresh one anytime I need it. I've gone through a ton of these. I use these all the time. Um, these are very sharp. If you don't season them, you should always be seasoning them, but definitely season these files. These are great. I like them a lot, much better than the ones I got off Amazon. The ones I got off Amazon are one time use, unless their nails are really long, then you'll need two, but I don't mind those, but I like these ones better even though they are more expensive. So I will always be repurchasing these. I've gone through a ton of these little applicators and I like to just kind of keep them for a little bit because um, I usually have designated colors for them, but after a little while they just become kind of not so good. So I do eventually rotate them out. Um, let's talk these stamping polishes. The Bundle Monster Co. I've had these literally forever. Forever, it seems like. And they still work. They still work just fine, if I'm gonna be honest. However, I did, like, look at that. They still are great, but I... Uh, partner with Maniology. I'm one of their um, partners, I guess, what do they call Affiliates? Yeah, I'm an affiliate with Maniology, which is Bundle Monster Co.'s new name. So I wanted to advertise their new name instead of their older one. So they rebranded to Maniology, and this is their original brand name. And I've used Bundle Monster Co. literally forever. Like, back in the day when stamping like wasn't cool or it was and it was like those Lisa Frank ones that you would yeah so I've used them forever but it was time to do the updated packaging and you see the white was perfect so still great product 
let's talk luminary. These are full. Uh, I used it a couple times on my channel and you know it was fine but this is what you run into. It separates terribly so this does not have a long shelf life and the smell is horrendous. Even when I was doing my review for it when I originally smelled it I was like how has no one mentioned the smell of this I mean the smell is strong um, beautiful color I did like how it applied uh, just the shelf life on these I do think it's probably a year um, but I cannot use my nail products up within a year unless it's pretty much light elegance if I'm be honest but it's just one of those things that when I reached for it again I tried in a couple videos to use it again and I had mixed it up and it just did not go well. So I would not repurchase Luminary again, personally. This I got off AliExpress and it was the liquid um, like mood ring, like you would find in a mood ring. I never got to use it. It spilled when I got it and that's all that was left when I was able to save it and I saved it for a rainy day. Well, the rainy day never came because it dried up. Young Nails Protein Bun. I've gone through, I don't know, I'm trying to see if there's any left, but usually I dump them out. Uh, so many of these. I think I've gone through like five at this point. They're super tiny. I hate the bottle literally load the bottle because it just gets everywhere um, it's a very liquidy primer however it is awesome I love the stuff it does wonders for my nails I mean this guy is like three weeks old I think these ones are newer but like look at that there is no lifting obviously prep goes into that but I love I love 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 protein bond You guys know, after Protein Bond comes Jellish Foundation. Um, I dumped everything out of this guy. It was time to let it go. But what I love a lot, not I mean the product is great too, don't get me wrong, is the brush that this comes with. Like you can really scrub it on. I know you guys literally, if you're watching this video, you've probably watched 900 of my tutorials by now but like you can scrub it in there and it just adheres so well. You get that Young Nails Protein Bond and then I put this on it over a fully prepped nail that is. And I just, it's like peanut butter and jelly, man. I've just had such great, great results with these. I've used Jellish Foundation for like 10, 15 years at this point. Like, forever it seems like. <laughs> and so we get into that. Um, these are just old. It's time to get new ones. A lot of times I will use this and then when it gets contaminated, that's when I actually label them and it goes to a powder or chrome only. And don't get me wrong, these are great, but I've noticed when I was curing them, it started to turn yellow. So that just means it's time to go. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just time to go. And the matte is great, but you can see it's kind of separating. Not sure if you, oh, my help was in frame. You can kind of see it's separating just a little bit. If I gave it probably a vigorously good shake, but it's not worth it. Um, they're just a little bit older because again they go through normal wear and then they become my loose powder loose glitter wear so they do end up getting older because they just do same with my kira sky no wipe top coat i did a video where i use this i mean like the thing looks fine but when it cured it got so yellow it's because it's old I've had this for mm, probably three years now. It's just time to go. I absolutely love this product, especially when it was new. It was nice and thin. I was able to get a 
great adhesion for chrome on it. Um, and it's just a little bit thicker now and it cures yellow. But again, great product would absolutely purchase again. I do find myself using um, foil glue, like foil gel, um, to apply chromes, but again, this was really great. This is my absolute favorite dip base. Just like any other dip base, you run the risk of contaminating, freezing it, or it just going goopy. And it's just a fact of life with dip powders, so, or dip uh, gels or glue, however you wanna look at it. Um, I wish they had smaller bottles of this, so I could buy a bunch of different bottles, and then that way I only had, like, I only open one at a time, so even when I'm doing reviews, I wouldn't necessarily open their dip base because I would be afraid that I would essentially waste it um, unless I was doing an actual review for the brand. I would have to open it, obviously. But overall, favorite brand for dip powders and dip base. I still have the activator. It still works great, so just wish they were in smaller bottles so I could save them. Okay, number like 950 ever since they released this Jimmy Gel. It's, it's been in so many of my videos. I absolutely love it. It has the best consistency um, for shorter nails. Obviously with longer nails, you would probably have to work super fast with it because this is even runnier than one step. So you definitely want to make sure that you're prepared when you use Jimmy Gel, but it's, it's perfection. I love it so much. And I use their pink quite often as well. Um, the pink does separate a little bit, kind of just like that luminary, but you just got to shake it where the luminary, I can never get it to remix. Where this, I was able to get it remix. The clear is perfect. I never ever have to run into any issues with the clear. Just know the pinks you do have to mix up a little bit if they are sitting for a while, but love this product. I have, I think, five backups, so that goes to show you, like, literally five. <laughs> I know, I had pink one step forever and finally bought a huge jar. Like, when I tell you I use every bit of it, oh no, there's some right there. There's, like, the tiniest little piece in there. Um, I love this stuff. It is my go-to. It's my favorite pink of all time. I have my bigger jar here that again is still highly well used. So this is what it looks like. It's just my absolute favorite. Love this stuff so, so, so much. And I do have to say I like the newer packaging because I can wipe this and the name won't come off where I have cool gel here and I've actually wiped the name off so I've had to like print the sticker on it. So their new packaging is great. So it goes to show you how long I've had this empties, like forever it seems like. So love, 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 just love. My favorite top coat. Doesn't necessarily go great over stamping. Oh, and is it stuck? It's stuck, it won't open. But, you know, here's my current one. So you can see, I love this brush. When they redesigned the brush, it absolutely hands down changed this product. So I liked the product beforehand, loathed the brush, like hated it with a passion. It was this tiny little long brush, actually very similar to this um, dinky little brush. It literally was like this tiny little brush for top coat and I hated it. When they updated their P+, they actually updated this brush too, so they're just obviously using one brush for all their products, and thank goodness, because literally when they updated this brush, it completely changed this product to great to fantastic, because this brush is just amazing. I absolutely love this brush. Here is the Madam Glam Peel Off Base Coat. If you watched my Peel Off Base Coat kind of competition, you guys know the end result for this one was not a peel off. 
It's not, so it does not work. Um, I looked at their reviews, they say they're great. I think this is what they consider a soak off base coat, not a peel off. Peel off, I consider something that you can paint on, pop it off. I've done many tutorials where I've had to pop something off. So that is what I think of a peel off and this is, says it's a peel off, but I think this is a soak off, even though their normal base is what I consider it a soak off as well. So I don't know why, but this product did not work for me, even though it has great reviews, but for me, it just didn't work. And then another super shiny, I guess, was that flat matte? No, that was super shiny. I had a flat matte, but I tossed it. Um, so clearly I like it. All right, so these are the products I have used up. I always think these videos are great because then you actually can see what people are using and if they're using them frequently. Like I had two super shinies in there, didn't even realize it. A lot of times I will just not put duplicates in here and just kind of like toss it. But I, again, think it's great to see what people actually use up instead of just hauls, hey, I bought this, I bought this, that's great, but I wanna see what you've actually used, so. All right, I will make sure to link everything below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.